Mike needs gas money to get to, to New Orleans. So if I haven't talked to you, come find me. He's going to go to Appalachia Cola. He's going to go to eat oysters. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's very low. All right, guys. What I was saying is he's ready to get started. If I haven't seen you already to get your donation, She's please let me know. Age. Please come find me. And we do appreciate all of the, uh, the donations today. I really want to say thank you for that because... You know, as I said earlier, we, we tour around and we, uh, this is what we do for our living. So it, it, I will happily go waste all of your money on, on booze and alcohol. Thank you very much for your tips. <laughs> Slap of a flip flop, squealing tires past the county line. And I board Mercury firing up, tapping kegs and crushing Dixie cups. Some of sounds that bring me back to that beach down in Lower Alabama, 1995. Getting wasted away on five and some change. Clear me thinking about a thing past Saturday night. Yeah, the sounds of freedom. Wishing that we could make it all last somehow Oh, looking back now and I love those summer sounds Like cicadas in a pine tree Warm July night breeze And fireworks popping in the sky Down an old gravel road About as far as we could go Keeping her out to way past nine Crashed like waves in the sand Like a thunderstorm we were rolling in Summer sounds of thing Back on that beach down in Lower Alabama 1995 Getting wasted away on a five and some change Never thinking about a thing past Saturday night Yeah, the sounds of freedom Wishing that we could make it all last somehow Saturday night, sounds of my life, wishing that I could still make it all last somehow, I'm looking back now and I love those summer sounds, yeah, looking back now and I love those summer sounds, all those summer sounds. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your break and your lemon drop shot as much as I did. <laughs> yeah, that was real Florida lemons right there. You can taste the difference. I'm going to say that anyway. I don't, I don't know if I could taste the difference, but it damn sure tasted good. I know that. I've never tasted a better lemon than that lemon drop right there. That was pretty darn good. So, uh, Arthur had a couple of requests. But I believe he's inside getting people out here. I'm going to wait on his request so he gets to hear him. And in the meantime, uh, let's see. I'm going to do a little When Kids Played Outside. So, so I told you earlier I wrote a song for my daughter, inspired by her. Um, this song was inspired by my son. 
And it was about 2009. I was living in Cocoa Beach. He was still living in Nashville with his mom. And in Nashville, I, know, I don't know like where a lot of you guys are from, uh, but in Nashville, when we get a snow, I mean, it, like if we get six inches of snow, it completely shuts the city down for an entire two weeks. And all the bread and milk's gone from the grocery store. And kids are out of school. And when I was a kid, we would get those kind of snows maybe once every 10 years. You know, we really don't get a whole lot of snow in Nashville. This one particular year, we had gotten about six, seven inches of snow and school was out. And I was so excited for my son, who was about 10 at the time. I was so excited for him to uh, finally have a big snow. I'm like, I called him up. I'm like, dude, this is the first big snow of your life. And let me tell you how to make igloos and how to make snowmen and snowballs and bust your buddy in the faces with snowballs. And he's like, dad, 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 hold on. But chill, 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 chill. So look, I'm not going out in that shit. It's cold. It's freezing out there. I'm not going out in that. And I'm like, but I can tell you how to make snowballs. He said, dad, no, no, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit in the warm heat and I'm going to play my PlayStation. I'm doing my PlayStation stuff. And it was at that moment that I realized that life has changed forever. When the internet and computers and technology came along, it changed childhood and life forever. Our children and our grandchildren and all that will never, ever, ever know what it was like to grow up in a world before computers. When we used to play outside, I remember we used to go out, we could play all day long. Mom and Dad didn't have to worry about us. If you got in a fight with somebody, you hit them a couple of times, they hit you a couple of times, and you go on about your merry way, you didn't pull out a gun and shoot each other and stupid stuff. And so it just really made me sad for the world that our kids are having to grow up in. So I sat down and I wrote this song right here about it, and this one is, I'm going to take all you guys on a trip down memory lane to a time when kids played outside. <laughs> Old swimming holes, we had a boom box cranking out the rock and roll. Back when our little town was our whole world, and that banana seat took us where we wanted to go. Now, raise your hand if you had a banana seat, that'll be all. I remember those days. We played ball in our backyard, ran away a few times, but we never made it far. We got cuts and scrapes and bruises and scars When we were fighting for our right to party hard We didn't have no internet No, our PlayStation was an old swing set We got three channels on the TV set And man, that he looks just fine Back when kids played outside But never went anywhere We'd stay out all day long Mom and Dad didn't care Yeah, we didn't have texts we just pass notes We had rings on our fingers Not in our nose That's for sure We didn't, we didn't have all that Well, now our chat room Was a local arcade And a handful of quarters Man, they'd last all day When ADD was something We did in school huh? We didn't need therapy to tell us we ruled. We didn't have no internet. No, our PlayStation was an old swing set. We traded record players for new tape decks. Man, it was great to be alive. Back when kids played outside. Face pods and my books and camera phones. Ain't no more tree houses or old skating rinks. <laughs> Ain't even music videos on MTV. We take pills for everything, play indoor golf. We get 500 channels and a damn thing on. Yeah, we're living in the future. Me, I'll take the past. It's all too much, but I just want to go back. We didn't have to be politically correct And we turned out just fine We used to go out cruising on Friday night Used to use our fists if we got in a fight The 
And Dad got the belt when we got out of line Man, it was great to be alive Back when kids played outside Outside Yeah, I want to go back I just want to go back I want to go back I just want to go back Nice. Eight tracks. I remember it. You had to turn it over. You got the one and turn it over for the other side of the song. <laughs> All right. My buddy Arthur's got a couple of requests I'm going to knock out for you right now. So, a big part of my life, as I mentioned earlier, um, was when I moved to the beach. I, I'd been dreaming of it my whole life. And as many of you guys know who probably moved here from somewhere else, you know, there's just a whole different lifestyle that takes over. And all of a sudden, I looked up about a year and a half later, and I realized, huh, I've been wearing flip-flops for a year and a half. You, know, you don't think about it. It's like you don't really need shoes when you live down here. I mean, you might have some shoes. You might have some boat shoes or something. But most of the time, you know, your flip-flops is kind of your go-to footwear. And that's something to be said that so I was flip flopping around town around Cocoa Beach one Sunday afternoon and I was just like you know I think I should write a song about this day and just how awesome it feels and just how cool it is in my little beach town here to be hanging out in this beautiful sunshine this is a song that came out of it so this is my buddy for my buddy Arthur who I would not be here without today yes flip -flopping. Arthur Wendy A&W <laughs> Almost hear the flip flops. Click, 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 click. I'm sipping umbrella drinks and lazing on a sunny day. Just a cat napping on a hammock hanging out in the shade. And motor cars pass down the road. I heard dancing there. But you can dance. But flip flopping always gets me where I'm at. Ay, ay, ay! Yeah, I got you now. Yeah, cause I never ask for much. Nobody asking much of me. Well, it's easy to see where the secret of life is found When I'm flip-flopping around Well, I'm slow strolling down the sand The tide's rolling on up Hole. I need a little bit of luck Man, that sun's hot I'll take a dip Know where I need to go Whoa. I think I'll drop in And see some friends At the watering hole Yeah, cause I never ask for much sun setting low over there on the west coast it's a perfect time of day i got shrimp cooking smelling good the sun's fading away i think i drink a little toast to the boat sailing out on the bay Relax 
Just kick back and drift off to sleep As the moon beams The waves sing a lullaby of the sea I never ask for much Nobody asking much of me Well, it's easy to see where the secret of life is found When I'm flip-flopping around I'm flip-flopping around I'm flip-flopping around Dancer. Next one's on the dance floor. You got you any are boaters always. in the house? Boaters, a couple of you? How many sold their boats? How many of you are smart enough to sold your boat? Anybody? Yep. <laughs> My favorite kind of boat is a friend's boat. Yeah. yeah. Bring the Thank beer and ice. How many of you guys have friends with boats? Yes. <laughs> a lot more hands go up on that one. Well, uh, I was. When I was working, uh, living in Cocoa Beach and I was playing at Captain Hirons, I used to play down at Captain Hirons every, every Monday night. Woo and I'd make that drive every Monday afternoon. And I'd go up over a bridge over the intercoastal and there was an old sailboat sitting there. And I noticed it. Just, you know, if you can imagine, just picture an old tattered and torn, just mud covered, holes in the side, sails were long since rotted away. Poor old pathetic piece of sailboat sitting there but it had a big cardboard sign on it that said free <laughs> I thought well that's a good thing because I don't think anybody's buying that thing. <laughs> so I saw it there and as, as things in life you know you just kind of drive by something every day pretty soon it becomes obsolete and you don't think about it and then one day maybe a year later or so I'm driving by and all of a sudden I looked up and the old sailboat was gone and so I got me to thinking well I wonder if I wonder if somebody finally came and got that old thing and maybe they're up fixing it up and, you know, making it all new again or, or maybe the people just got tired and took it out to sea and dumped the thing and collected the insurance money. Who knows? But it got me to thinking, well, it's kind of sad if you think about it because, you know, here's this, this boat that at one time was new and shiny and beautiful and if you can imagine the big white sails and all these folks' hopes and dreams were attached to this vessel it was going to take them anywhere in the world they wanted to go and all this beauty and how sad to see it now sitting here in this dilapidated pile of crap. And I thought, well, I can kind of be like a relationship sometimes. <laughs> you know, it starts off all new and shiny and beautiful and all your hopes and dreams are attached to it. And by the end of it, you can't even give the damn thing away. You just want to get rid of it so bad. <laughs> so when I thought about that, I realized, well, there's a song in there somewhere. There's got to be a song there. So... I came up with this one, 27 Feet of Love. Stand back, ladies. I'm going to need some room for this one. Well, I can still remember the first time I saw her. She was all alone, soaking up sun down by the water. Oh, she was the prettiest thing I'd ever seen. Holding the cardboard sign that just said, well, I knew that all she needed was someone to treat her right Yeah, them first few weeks, she kept me up all night She's a little dirty, all covered in grime She don't look like much, but she's mine all mine And it's something about the way she makes me feel When I wrap my hands around her big old wheel it takes forever to get her motor going I only take her out when there's gonna be some blowing Then I'll reach down and grab her rudder Man, I just love to feel her shake and shudder She drinks gasoline, she's got a small head Yep, she sure looks rough 
But she's a beauty to me She's got all I need She's 27 feet of love Well, I let my buddies take her out last weekend They passed out inside of her when they got to drinking I've even got pictures of her tied to a tree in the backyard I banged her on the dock Sunday afternoon Oh, I took her deep at least a time or two Man, there ain't nothing in this world for her that I wouldn't do Cause when we're all alone sailing on the ocean blue There's something about the way she makes me feel When I wrap my hands around her big old wheel It takes forever to get her motor going so I only take her out when the wind is blowing. Then I'll reach down and grab her rudder. Man, I just love to feel her shake and shudder. She drinks gasoline on my head. Yep, she sure looks rough, but she's a beauty to me. She's got all I need. She's 27 feet of love. I gotta tell you, there's more. Well, I gave her a deck. I cleaned out her pipes. I bought her a new set of big bow lights. I waxed that aft. I plugged her leaks. I spend all my time rubbing on her teak. Cause it's sun back the way she makes me feel when I wrap my hands around them brand new wheels. Oh, it takes forever to get her motor going, so I only take her out when there's gonna be some blowing. Then I'll reach down and grab that rudder. Woo! I just love it when she shakes and shudders. She drinks gasoline. She's got a small head. Yep, she sure looks rough. But she's a beauty to me Yeah, she's got all I need She's my 27 feet of love Mmm, -hmm. my 27 feet of love Yeah Oh, Artie, I love her to death, buddy I gotta tell you, man I, You know, I just stuck a big generator in her last night, boy She liked that one a lot, right? We erected the mast. Woo! I gave her some hard wood, let me tell you. She got a little mad when I stuck her in the porthole, though. She didn't want to go into it. But that's okay, because I got a little dinghy, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But it's got a big old Johnson on the back. Woo! Cheers, everybody. Get our drinks up. Let's do a toast. Yeah. To the birthday go. girls. The kids are in bed, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Here's the nipples. Uh-oh. That's right. Here's the nipples because without them, titties would be pointless. There we go. down just a little bit and do a song for the ladies There's so many ladies here with us today and ladies what you can do today to help us make the world a better place you know, put a what? smile on our faces for us so much bad <laughs> like stuff going on in our country and in the world you're cracking these days. Jenna. <laughs> we really need something to cheer us up a little bit so ladies i want to do this song for you well it seems to me this whole world's gone crazy There's too much hate and killing going on But when I see the bare chest of a woman That's right, I did say that 
I said, when I see the bare chest of a woman, all my worries and my problems are all gone. Because no one thinks of killing when they see a topless girl. So maybe if you would show yours too, we could save the world. Show them to me. Show them to me. Unclasp your bra and set those puppies free. They look a whole lot better without that sweater, baby. I'm sure you'll agree. If you've got two fun bags, show them to me. Well, I don't care if they don't match your ones bigger than the other. You could show me one. Hell, I'll imagine the other one. Even if you're really old, honey, there ain't nothing wrong. No, don't be sad, your boobs ain't bad. They're just a little long. Show them to me. Show them to me. Lift up your shirt and let the whole place see. Honey, just lean back and show your rack and a happy man I'll be. If you've got two cassavas, show them to me. Well, I've seen a lot of them, but never one that I've hated. Even if you've had 13 kids, you think they look deflated. There ain't no such thing as a bad breast. I swear this much is true. If you're a big fat man, I'm a titty fan. And I'd love to see yours too. Show them to me. Show them to me. Just like the girls gone wild on TV. Honey, just disrobe and show your globes and I'll be an ecstasy. If you've got two big knockers, show them to me. Show them to me. And all the world will live in harmony. Well, it'll do you good and it'll give me wood and we'll make history. If you love your country, for God's sakes, ladies, I'm going to say that one more time. I said, if you love your country, well, stand up and show them big old titties of me. Oh, I can't believe it. We didn't have one take. Not one take. This is what I'm coming to. Hey. Fellas, I'm doing my best for us, guys. I don't know what else to do here. I guess you're going to have to get them more shots or something. <laughs> <laughs> so we were playing a show this past summer out in Tubac, Arizona. Now, let me set the scene for you. If you've never been to Arizona, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful state. Tons of desert. Desert is way more amazing than it looks in the Bugs Bunny cartoons. It's actually real, and it looks really cool. And we're out there, and Tubac is about 30 minutes south of Tucson, Arizona. It's about 30 minutes north of the Mexico border in Nogales. And it is a lot like Florida. It's sort of, that area of the country is the Florida of the West. It's where a lot of people retire to. It's where they have a lot of snowbirds. All the snowbirds bring their RVs down and clog up the damn interstates over there just as bad as they do over here. And... We're playing the show, and it was for a lot of great people just like yourselves. It was a fun evening. Everybody was having a good time. I played that last song, and there were a couple of them in the back that apparently were incredibly offended by this song. They did not think that it was proper for me to sing a song about showing your boobs. Okay, it's just all. It's in good fun, right? You guys get it. You laughed. It's a good time. Well, these ladies were serious. Like, they were pissed off, and they were screaming at me and going, that's just ridiculous, and you should stop this, and... And I said, and I am so sorry that that song offended you. That's not what we're here for. We're here to have a good time, have some drinks, you know, have some laughs. There's nothing serious about my show at all. And I said, if you were offended by that one, you should probably leave now because you're really going to be offended by this. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was those, how do we say in a nice way, the California ladies, if you know what I'm talking about. Whoa. I 
said, please come back, sit down. Let me redeem myself. If you still hate me after this song, I'll open the door for you. You can just go on out right there. I said, honey, put your clothes back on. I'd rather be alone. Your thing is all worn out now. Get on home. You had too many lovers. They weren't off the hair. There ain't no way I'm going in there. Put your clothes back on and get on home. I should have never gone out. I should have never had a drink. Hey, take that thing outside, it's a starting to stink. Your friends done told me where you have been, and I feel sorry for all those men. Put your clothes back on and get on home. Yeah, get that thing away from me. It looks like something a dog would eat. I've seen enough. Set me free. I think that thing just barked at me. Early well, this morning it bit my leg. Come on, darling, don't you make me bad. Put your clothes back on. Get on home. I just have to say at this moment in the song, I am so happy that you guys are laughing right now. You have no idea. <laughs> There's a pool right there, and this stuff costs a lot of money, so I'm really happy. Oh, shit. I need medical care I think three midgets just crawled out of there Honey, I was just fine before you came Would you throw something over that pitiful thing? Put your clothes back on and get on home Yeah, put your clothes back on and get on home I'm serious, baby, get on out of here Play some more like that. Right. <laughs> you got a fan club. I had, I had to make sure the kids were in bed. You know, you never know. Rocket ship. Like the other one. Oh, well, I was kind of rocket ship. We should take a rocket ship tomorrow. Yeah. Woo! Let's do that. So the year was 2007. Now here's how sad. If you if you tune into the news, if you watch the news, if you get your news from the news, you're getting it from the wrong place. All they want to do is just tell us about all the bad crap and keep us all freaked out and living in fear, make us go drink more, which I don't mind that part, but the rest of it kind of sucks. <laughs> in 2007, I'm flipping through the news. I'm living in Cocoa Beach at the time, and it's just bad news after bad news after bad news, and I go, man, is there any good news left? Is there anything good out there? It's telling me something about something that happened on the other side of the world today in some small little village that I'll never visit that really doesn't affect my life. But. So finally I said, you know, I could sit and complain about it or I could just write a song about it. So I sat down and I wrote this song and I decided instead of complaining about it, I'm just gonna give me a six pack, build a rocket ship and move to Mars. Start all over again. So Amen. if you guys are with me, let's just move it to Mars and start it all over again. Well, I'm tired of residing in this crazy place. I'm building a rocket ship and flying to space. Leave it behind as I head for the stars. As soon as I find my way out of this bar. The ozone's burning, my air ain't clean. Beer is now cheaper than gasoline. Got earthquakes, wildfires, tsunamis, and mudslides. Here comes an asteroid, we're all gonna die. Yeah, we're globally warming and the temperature is rising. Got Big Macs, heart attacks, and super sizing. I got chemically engineered food on my plate. I'm getting the hell out before it's too late. I'm fighting to hang on to my sanity in a world that's lost its mind. So I'm building a rocket ship and moving to Mars, leaving it all behind. Repent for your sins, says the pedophile priest. Jesus forgives you for a nominal fee. We got gunslinging, gang banging, ten year old kids, and we got sixty year old women with silicone tits. Well, there's ground air missile, there's eyes in the sky. 
The wages are low and the price is too high. We got Islamic terrorists, roadside bombs, internet predators, and we got 12 year old moms. We got pills to tune out, we got pills to tune in, we got pills to give old dudes a stiffy again. They're locking them up now for smoking weed. But if a glove don't fit, man, they're setting them free. Well, I'm about to hang on to my sanity in a world that's lost its mind. So I'm building a rocket ship and moving to Mars, leaving it all behind. Well, my mailbox is empty. My hard drive's trashed. My global positioning network crashed. My cholesterol's high, my blood sugar low. I'm dying of everything, the doctor said so. Well, my therapist says my situation looks grim. I got OCD and DVD and IBM. I got ADD and AOL on MTV. I'm telling you what, Jupiter, Florida, it sucks to be me. Cause I can find a hang on to my sanity. In a world that's lost its mind So I'm building a rocket ship And moving to Mars Leaving it all behind Yeah, I'm tired of residing in this crazy place I'm building a rocket ship And flying to space Leave it behind as I head for the stars As soon as I find my way out of this bar Yeah, if I can my way out of these backyards. <laughs> Thank you. I like that new last line. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I play in a lot more backyards than bars these days. I don't mind that at all. That was a joke. I love playing backyards. I would much rather play in the backyard, and it makes more sense. This is one thing we're trying to do in our little corner of the world we call Trop Rock and Parrothead. We've realized that we're onto something here. Yes. That, that we need a lot more of this in this world, especially people in our country need a lot more of this in their lives. Hey, check all your stuff at the door. Come out a drink. Let's yes. be human to each other again and have a good time. Don't talk politics. Don't need no religion involved. You're Just such a great therapist. Don't I, care love, what bathroom I love you your need. therapy, okay. Dr. Nash. We need some more of that. So if you guys are having a good time today, I would hope that you'll go out and do me a big favor and spread the message and the, and the word uh, to everybody you know. Come back next time. Let's do this and let's grow, keep growing this thing and get it bigger and better. And uh, Agreed, let Wendy. more people in on the secret. All right, where's our dad? I see Wendy. Agreed. Maybe we could all just be human to each other again. Wouldn't that be incredible? <laughs> yes, thank you, Mike. Very good philosophy. So here's a little song. Uh, I wrote this one. As, as you, I've probably seen in my show by now, the, the big move to Cocoa Beach, Florida for me was the very uh, important one in my life. It, it was actually the one that made me start playing music for a living, changed the course of my entire life, and has led me to this moment right here. Uh, I was sitting in my room in, in our condo the very last night. I told you earlier in our show, I sold all our stuff, put it in the garage sale, took what we had left, stuck it in the storage building, sitting in the condo the very last night on an air mattress. Our bags loaded in the car outside and ready to wake up the next morning and take off into the great unknown, having no idea really what we were doing, knew kind of where we were going, but with no plan in the world, and just felt this compelling push from fate and life, as we all probably in our lives at some point or another have gotten to a fork in the road and weren't quite sure of the outcome. You didn't know where it was going to lead, but you just felt fate tugging you and pushing you that way. And I hope that you were lucky, as I was lucky, and, and took that leap of faith, and fate was there to catch you, and it led you where you were supposed to be. And if you're not there yet, or if you're not quite, maybe you're at one of those crossroads in your life right now, uh, I encourage you to follow your heart, trust your gut, take that leap of faith, and hope fate will be there to catch you. That's the message of this song, and it's called The Road I'm On. <laughs> at 
my soul Yeah, I don't know where I'm going I'm just following a road But never looking back, no Maybe something up ahead We'll reveal all of the secrets of this life before I'm dead So I'm off to find a place where I belong And I'm hoping you'll come with me Take a walk with me down the road that I'm on Yeah, I'm hoping you'll come with me Take a walk with me down the road I need a little something So in the broken life you know we all just want that one thing that makes this crazy world all right just a little bit of happiness it takes you by surprise yeah but sometimes every now and then it's the hardest thing to find and i know that i could get there on my own but if you got the time take a walk with me down the road that i'm on Come with me, take a walk with me down the road But I need a little something Burning in your soul Yeah, we've all had a journey's ending We're just taking different roads What's a hurry to make it there? There's so much along the way How you gonna save all your time for tomorrow When you could be spending it today And I could use a little help singing my song so if you know what I'm talking about, take a walk with me down the road that I'm on. La 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 Just trying to find my way to a place where I belong, and I'm hoping you'll come with me. Take a walk with me down the road that I'm on. Thank you very much. I don't take requests, lady. <laughs> Say. Yeah, there you go. I didn't know you could get your leg that hard. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so there's really a cool backstory behind this song Melissa just requested. This one is actually not on any of my albums. I did not write this song, but it's going to be on my next album. And this is a little bit of a story, so bear with me. Uh, stepping way back to my early days when I grew up in Nashville, I was about 19, 20 years old. And there was a bar in town I used to go to every Thursday night. If you're asking yourself how, I had a fake ID. Don't tell anybody that. But back in those days, you could get away with it, right? I feel so sorry for kids nowadays. How would you fake one of those things? They got all kinds of NASA stamps on them and futuristic stuff. Anyway, but this is 1990. What's that? All the kids here have fakes. Good for you, Mom. Hell yes. <laughs> um, so every Thursday night, there was a guy that played at this bar in town, and, and uh, I used to go, and his name was Barry Coggins, and he, for, for a young man who was just learning his way as a musician and, and, and still kind of figuring out what I was going to be, I went and watched this guy, and I was just in awe. It was like watching, you know, a superstar from the big stage right here in this little bar, and I learned so much every single night from watching him, and we became kind of friends, you know, like we... We were acquaintances, and, and when he saw me, he'd say, Hey, Mike, how you doing? You know, learning any new songs this week? And kind of stuff like that. But, um, it's such a, such a powerful influence in my life. And this next song I'm getting ready to play for you was on one of his CDs. I fell in love with this song. I used to play it a lot when I was younger. It was one of my most influential songs that helped me learn how to songwrite and things. And then, you know, as life happens to all of us, you... What, what was once new is now old, and you move on in life, and, and the song kind of gotten forgotten over time. And We were in uh, San Felipe, Mexico, which is on the Baja side of um, Sea of Cortez, playing a song, playing a show about, about a year ago, actually. It was about a year ago in January. And for some reason, I don't know why, still this day, I really don't understand why, but I just all of a sudden, about this point in the show, 
remembered this song. And I don't know what it was about the mood. I don't know if somebody had said something that triggered something in my memory, but I hadn't played this song in 20 years. And yet, boom, there it was. So I played the song. And I, I kid you not. Now imagine the, the, the coincidence of what this might be. 20 years later, I'm sitting in a place in Mexico on the other side of the country or two countries or however you want to say that. And a lady in the audience is filming the song. And when I'm done, she walks up and she says, I'm going to send that to Barry. And I was like, what do you mean? She said, Barry Coggins, the guy that wrote it. I'm going to send that to him. I said, oh my God, you know Barry Coggins? So like, yeah, we're good friends. Yeah, I, I know him well I'm from Florida. And uh, I was just mind boggled. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So she did. And turns out we reconnected through that. I called him. I said, I do this event in Nashville. I put on, Melissa and I put an event on at the end of September. It's a songwriters festival in Nashville. We do it called Nash Bash. And I invited him to come and play at our Nash Bash and stuff. And, and I went and actually co-wrote. I got to finally co-write with him after 25 years of, of all this. We got together about a month ago and we co-wrote a song together, which I'm going to be putting on the new album as well. So just, I don't know, it was just crazy. One of those things in life that, wow, <laughs> you can imagine my shock. You know, 25 years later when somebody knows this guy that they should have never known. Melissa fell in love with the song. And that's why I'm putting it on the new album. Because I'm a smart man. Even songwriters know when she says, yeah, honey, I like that. You get it for whatever it is. <laughs> so this one's called From Barry Cox. Tell my heart I said hello.
They don't all have to be drinking songs and getting drunk. There's only a couple of them that aren't there. <laughs> well, I think we have some time for a few more here. I know we've got all night. We're not going that far. We're just going down the road to hang out with Art and Wendy. And uh, if you guys don't have a way to be, we might, might stretch it out a little bit. If you're enjoying yourselves, and I don't want to keep you here if you have things to do, but I'm having a good time if you're having a good time. Anybody ever been up to the Redneck Riviera? Just only a couple of you. Wow, I really thought there'd be more. You know, they say the, the further south you go in Florida, the more north you get. I'm starting to believe that. Like a lot of these guys that live down here, you guys are from Ohio probably, and Pennsylvania, maybe New York. No, 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 no. I just totally missed the beat on that. All right, where are you guys from originally? Minnesota. Okay, I nailed it. Yeah. it. Had a feeling about it. Well, for those of you who grew up in those areas, you wouldn't probably know about the Redneck Riviera. If you did, you'd live over there on that side of Florida instead of over this side. But for those of us who grew up in like the southeast, Tennessee, and Georgia, Alabama, Kentucky, Missouri, Arkansas, all that. We used to go on vacation when we were all kids to this place called Redneck Riviera. And it's basically from Apalachicola, Florida, which is, you know where that's at. It's on the Panhandle. All the way across to about Mobile, Alabama. There's a stretch of about 200 miles. And there's all kinds. You've got Pensacola, Panama City Beach, uh, Fort Walton, Destin, um, Gulf Shores, Perdido Key. There's like a million little places, little Florida beach towns. And it is the party capital of the redneck world and it's called the redneck riviera so i wrote a song about it because i write songs and i like the redneck riviera so that's the depth of that conversation for you it's on the new album stay thirsty and i'm going to try to do it without a fiddle it's not easy but i'll do my best down on the redneck riviera where all of us country folk play from west to Pensacola to Appalachia, Panama Beach to L.A. Yeah, all summer long, it's a party till dawn. It's a get your buzz on, I dare you. There ain't nothing like it, that's why we love it. Well, you ain't gonna find it on a map. So you can put away your GPS. Drive 65 south till you hit the water. Then you're gonna make a left Under 200 miles of palm trees There's a party every day and night Bushwhackers and hand bikinis White sand, man, it's a poor boy's paradise Down on the Redneck Riviera Where all of us cool kids play From west to Pensacola to Apalachicola And I'm on beach to L.A. Yeah, all summer long, it's a party till dawn It's a get your buzz on, I dare you There ain't nothing like it And that's why we love it on the Redneck Riviera Yeah Alright, somebody play some air fiddle out there I need air fiddle, air fiddle Somebody, there we go You look like JD out there, it's great You can hang out over in Gulf Shores or party all week with the blues Or go through hell and back to see La Bella Pack with the pretty things and cowgirl boots Well, you can break out your mullet at the Bama Where there's a bill, there's a way All but schooner or later Gotta hit the sand shaker or get sunk in Mobile Bay Down the Redneck Riviera Where all of us country folk play from west to Pensacola to Apalachicola, Panama Beach to L.A. Yeah, all summer long, it's a party till dawn, it's a get your buzz on, I dare you. There ain't nothing like it, and that's why we love it on the Redneck Riviera. Man, every now and then a storm blows in, we just have a little party. Got no reason to leave, got everything we need, y'all, we're just kidding. Cola to Appalachia, Cola, Panama Beach to LA, Lower Alabama. 
all summer long. It's a party till dawn. It's a get your buzz on. I dare you. There ain't nothing like it. That's why we love it. So come on down, y'all, and get you some of it on the redneck. Everybody's Cajun tonight. Well, you thought that song for you. Well, as fate would have it, I broke my G-string on that song. There? My daughter lives there. But that's okay, because I'm lucky enough to somehow have G-strings laying all over the place. So let me grab one. I'll be right back. That's where Dixie still lives at, in L.A. Do you need more light? No, I got it. Are you a professional? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> I drink a lot of strings. Because I'm a tight one and I buy cheap strings. You know what? How about we do that? I'm going to have I'm gonna, Melissa, you want to do your toast? Melissa has my favorite Woo! toast I've ever heard. Come on, Melissa, on do the toast. I'm going to show while I do this. Right? Get your drinks up. All right, never lie, never drink, never steal, and never cheat. But if you have to lie, lie to save a friend. If you have to cheat, cheat death. If you have to steal, steal a heart. And if you have to drink, drink with friends like these. Aww. Woo! Yeah, we're music on the bay too. Here's the panties. <laughs> Not the best thing in the world, but real close to it. <laughs> That's why we work so well together, I think. She keeps me in line. Because I'm constantly trying to get out. She's of a professional of keeping you in line. <laughs> So all the fancy guitar or uh, musicians, you know, like the, the Garth Brookses and Kenny Chesneys and Jimmy Buffetts and stuff of the world, they have guys that do this for them. They run out, they break a string, they just hand them a brand new guitar. I don't have any of those guys, actually. All right, so this next song here, I'm going to take just a moment out and get kind of serious on you for a minute. Um, I think at this point in life, we've all lost someone that we love. They've moved on to that big tiki bar in the sky. And I feel like if they could speak down to us, they have all the answers now. They know the great unknown, you know, they're on the other side. I feel like if they could speak back to us, they'd probably say, you know what, guys? What we've learned from dying is live every day. Live every breath. Make every single breath count because, man, does this life go by fast. And you never know when it's going to be over. And if you need to hear that message tonight, if you're not living, if you're just kind of, you know, we get so caught up in this, this life these days of thinking about, Oh, well, I don't have this house, so I can't be happier. I don't have this car, and I can't be happy. And all these things that we think that matter. Maybe just as simple as hanging out on a back porch on a Sunday afternoon, having a few drinks, meeting some new friends, and listening to some music. It could be just that. Find happiness that really matters. 
Because that's the kind of stuff I think that's going to matter when you're taking that last breath on this earth. You're not going to think about what kind of house you didn't have or what kind of car you drove or any of that stuff. And that's the message behind this next song. I hope it inspires you to get out and live. It's called Numbered. There's a homemade cross on the side of Lake Road I cleared the weeds just a day ago It's where I lost my friend To a head-on crash His football jersey looking number five was hanging on the chair graduation night Where he should have been Man, I want him back We were 17 and bulletproof At least that's what we'd say You know, I still feel the silence From when they read his name It was a wake-up call A warning shot Good reminder Right now is all we got So I'm gonna live Every moment Like tomorrow's gone Cause all my days are numbered And I don't know which one I'm on It hit me hard when I got the news I told to his house fighting back the truth Hoping he was there Working on his truck Cause we made our plans for that summer road trip To hit every beach on our bucket list Throw some cool ones down And rack those memories up Yeah, we talk about those college girls and how we spend our lives Never once thinking twice We had anything but time It was a wake-up call A warning shot A kick in the gut reminder Right now is all we got So I'm gonna live every moment Like tomorrow's gone all my days are numbered And I don't know which one I'm on So I try to soak in every minute Like it might be my last And I thank God for every grain of sand In my hourglass It was a wake-up call Warning shot A kick in the gut reminder Right now is all we got So I'm gonna live Laugh and love Like tomorrow's gone Cause all our days are numbered And I don't know which one I'm Just a week ago is where I lost my friend Thank you so much Appreciate you guys Once again I just want to say thanks for spending your Sunday afternoon with me I know there's a million other things you could do I've done on this beautiful day And I really appreciate your donations And being here and helping us out along the Long hour touring route as I go from Key West to New Orleans, and basically my liver is saying, screw you, dude. I'm done. Okay. Yeah, Jerry already checked in on you. So, so I want to let you know that uh, we will gladly be blowing every penny that you've given us today in New Orleans <laughs> on hand grenades. Oh, and maybe a hot dog or two. And enough sad songs. I think uh, I'm going to...
Uh, it's about time I whip out my Johnson now. I think it's the perfect time in the show to whip out my Johnson. I'm so proud of it, I wrote a song about it. That's right. Now, I'm talking about a boat motor. If you take this and switch it into something else, then that's on you. That's got nothing to do with me. I'm a clean guy. I wrote this about a boat motor. And uh, we'll go with that. There's a part in the middle, if you guys feel like singing along, you just repeat after me. Damn, son! Damn, son! Yeah, they follow them. They know what they're doing. <laughs> to crew by putting down your Evan Root, but lately I'm the envy of the lake. Now them Mercury boys, they had their shot, now they all want the one I got, and that jealousy is more than they can take. Cause when I pull up, the girls all grin, they love to watch me putting in. You ought to see that smile on my face. As I crank it up and say, y'all jump on, I give a little gas and then we're gone, and I'm leaving all those others in my wake. Ever since I got my Johnson, I've been showing it off out in the hot sun. And I swear I turn the head of everyone out on the water having too much fun. Now all the fellas wish they had one. When the girls see it, they say, damn, son. Damn, son. This feeling's better than a home run. They're going nuts about my Johnson. Competition ain't even stiff. I got a whole lot of horse for little old Skiff, and that rooster tail sends shivers up their spine. Now they churn a little water with their inline fours, but me, I churn a whole lot more, and it's driving all them Honda boys out of their minds. Cause the jaws all drop when I cruise by, them girls start waving, the fellas just cry. There ain't much else I can do but wave goodbye. So better hang on tight when I'm hitting the gas. Wherever I'm going, I'm getting there fast. Throw to the bottom and I'm leaving them all behind. Ever since I got my Johnson, I've been showing them all that in the hot sun. And I swear to turn the head of everyone out on the water having too much fun. Now all the fellas wish they had one. When the folks from Jupiter see it, they say, damn, son. This feeling's better than a home run They're going nuts about my Johnson I'm not the man like a hole in one Now everybody wants my Johnson Thank you so much. It sure is a good feeling when you pull out your Johnson and everybody claps. It's hey, it kind of hurts a little bit when everybody laughs, but, you know, I understand. It's... I don't suppose I could get another one of those lemon drop shots up here. Didn't you? Whew, that stuff was good. Well, no, he had the lemon stuff over there. It was the... Bob, Bob, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Bob, Bob spelled backwards as Bob. You know that? Where the hell is Bob when we need him? Are you going to do the things you shouldn't do to your wife? All right, while well, Bob's mixing me up a lemon drop, and I appreciate that, Bob, I do. Thank you. We'll take a moment out to give some of these married guys out here in the audience a little advice. Just in case you haven't figured this out just yet. Right? Hey, honey, have you gained some weight in your rear end? That dress you wear reminds me of my old girlfriend. And where'd you get those shoes? I think they're pretty lame. Would you stop talking? Because I'm trying to watch the game. If you're a man who wants to live, a long and happy life These are the things you don't say to your wife I planned a hunting trip next week on your birthday I didn't ask you 
Cause I knew it'd be okay So go make some dinner while I watch my fishing show I taped it over our old wedding video If you're a man who wants to live a long and happy life These are the things you don't say to your wife Hey, Jupiter, Florida, you guys want to hear a guitar solo? Yeah! Yeah! Woo! If you're a man who doesn't want to get killed with a knife, these are the things you probably shouldn't say to your wife. Lord, asking you shall receive. I've got all kinds of shots up here. All right, let's see. Another toast. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm drawing a blank. Oh. What's that? Oh, yeah. You know what? Wendy and Laura are have, Laura's, Laura's having a birthday today, right? Is that? Yesterday. Okay, her birthday was yesterday. Wendy's birthday is coming up. We got to do a birthday toast. Yeah. Let's get them up. All right, here we go. Here's to birthdays. They only come once a year. Aren't you glad you're not a birthday? assume that, but I'm actually a Crown Oil guy. I grew up in Tunisia, but I hate Jack Daniels. I hate Jack Daniels because he's really not a nice guy. Actually, he died 200 years ago. That was a joke, but no, I hate Jack Daniels because um, I got sick on it the first time I ever got to drank while I was like 14, you know, and you sneak mom and dad's alcohol, and now just the smell of it just makes me nauseous. But I can do the fire stuff, though, so I'm good with that. Thank you very much for the shot, Laura. All right. Here's one you might have heard before. There's a fellow named uh, Charlie Marley. He's Char to Bob Marley's brother, Charlie Daniels, Charlie Marley. Yeah, he's from uh, Jamaica. You know, he sells weed down in Jamaica. I wrote a song about it. to Jamaica. He was looking to sell some weed. He was doing fine. They were standing in line. It was excellent weed indeed. When he came across this young man who was likewise peddling pot, well, the devil slid down the beach to the kid and said, boy, let me tell you what. I guess you kind of figured that I'm a reaver head of sorts. And after all this time, you could say that I'm a connoisseur, of course. Now your stuff smells okay, but mine could tranquilize a horse. I bet a million in cash against your stash. I think mine's better than yours. The boy said, my name's Johnny, and you ain't smoked nothing yet. One hit of this grass will kick your ass. You got yourself a bet. Johnny, roll a ball of hash and make sure it's the bomb. Cause the devil's got the kind of stuff they smoked in Vietnam. But you get a million smackaroos in cash if you can cope. But if you can't, the devil will get your dough. Oh. Well, the devil packed a bomb with a little Acapulco gold and resin flew from his fingertips as he fired up that bowl. He filled the chamber all the way and then took a mighty hit. As they passed it back and forth, it gave them both a coffin fit. <laughs> That's good stuff. Finished, Johnny said, man, that stuff was great. But fill your lungs with some of this and prepare to vegetate. Tell him a sativa, sweet Mary Jane. All the devils in the backyard trying his brain. His exact fill with a diggity dink. Oh, hold on tight, it'll hit you like a tank. Oh, here it comes now, here it comes now. Well, 
the devil nodded off Cause he knew that he was stoned He asked if he could buy down some, some of that stuff that Johnny owned Johnny said, devil, just come on back If you ever want to catch a bus I done told you what, you son of a bitch Mine's the best there ever was And they fired up in his one by one Oh, they ain't gonna stop till the bag is done Yeah, it's green as a bullfrog, sticky as glue Oh, man, do you get high? Yes, I do Thank you very much. Where it is now, medically legal in Florida. Thank you, Florida. Thank you. All right, well, we did a song for the ladies earlier. So now we're going to do a song for the fellas and fellas. A little song about a really bad day in a man's life. Okay. Really bad. Well, I got home and the door was locked. I tried to ring the bell. I found a little bitty note she had wrote telling me to go to hell. I crawled in the window. I got inside. She kicked me in the balls and then I cried. She called me a name or two. Said I lied. She kicked me again and I thought I'd die. She took my clothes and set them on fire. She hit me with her curling iron And then she kicked me in the balls again That's my girlfriend <laughs> yeah, Kind of quick and to the point, dude it's, it's like a joke, you know You already get to the punchline You can't go back and tell the joke anymore. That was pretty quick and easy <laughs> You know, the only bad thing about doing all these funny songs I love doing them and it really is We have a good time But how do you come back and do a serious song After you do some shit about getting kicked in the ball It's just hard to do, so it's got to be the right audience, and you guys have been the right audience today. You've been a great audience today, actually. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope that you, uh, I hope you like me enough at least not to throw me in the pool when we're done. And maybe even enough to come over and take some of the music with you. Not with your guitar, anyway. Not, yeah, take the guitar off if you're going to do that first, please. This thing costs like three bucks, so I can't afford to buy another one. It's the same price as a beer, and let me tell you, if it's between this guitar and a beer, I'm going with the beer. I just gotta say, well. But seriously, thank you guys so much. Mike Nash is the name. My band is Southern Drawl Band. We tour around Mike Nash and Southern Drawl Band. Um, Spotify, iTunes. You can download us on iTunes and, and Amazon if you do the download thing. We have actually a download card here now because we're part of the future. For uh, all of us old schoolers, we still have CDs, and I don't have eight tracks yet, but I'm working on it. It's the next big thing. As soon as I find an 8-track player, I'm going to go get some 8-tracks. Uh, we do have shirts and stuff. And if you're cold, well, we got some koozie or some, what do you call them, some jacket things? Sweatshirts, yeah. And koozies for your beer. They're specially designed by NASA to keep your beer colder than any other beer koozie on the planet. Uh, really, again, thank you so much for choosing to spend your Sunday afternoon with me. And, and um, Big thanks to Laura for uh, opening up her home to all of us today. Her first house concert, she's never done it before. I think she's had a good time. She's got a smile on her face out here, unless she's like poised to throw me in the pool yet. I'm not sure. I think she's good. And uh, a big thanks to Arthur and Wendy Miller, who, who without whom well, this would not have happened. So thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Millie. Uh, thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Millie Taylor, for uh, recording over here. I'm getting my Wendy's and my Millie's mixed up. And guys, I hope that uh, if you've had a good time, I ask one favor of you, and that is, oh, of course, thanks to Melissa. Yeah. Um, if you've had a good time today, I ask one favor of you. It doesn't cost a dime. I'm not going to ask for your tips, you know, and all that stuff. It's really, it's free, it's easy. Sweet Melissa. Oh, you want me to play? Okay, I'll end with that. That works. That works. I had a different direction, but you know what? When the woman says it, you listen. I've learned that. I've learned that one. I ask only that you go out in life and, and try to take some of the good vibes and the good energy that you have with you today and carry it forward in your life and try to share it with others and give each other, give, give 
start treating each other human again. Let's stop being enemies and start being brothers and sisters again and Americans above all else. And uh, thank you for just being here today. And please do that. Take the, take the candle forward, shine it more, and maybe next time we come back through, we'll have double the crowd and we'll keep growing this thing and growing it and growing it. And that's how we're going to change the world. And you really can do it one person at a time. You just have to have a good, good heart, treat people well, and be human to each other. And it doesn't help to drink a lot, do that really helps out. <laughs> other love each other take a little bit of goodness home with you and spread it around see how far it goes you'd be amazed i set out on a road so long ago on a path to nowhere and wound up here caught up in the middle of a life i know where the days roll by without a care see that trace of a smile on my face it's a places i go and the people i meet we're all the same here no reason to complain here pour another cold beer pull up a seat where the nights are always young and nobody ever gets old it might not quite be heaven but it's sure good for the soul yeah the surf's up the sun is high it's a beautiful day life is all right sit around watching the clouds roll by just another day in paradise 
Well, I don't need to know where this life is going. My sails are full and the wind still blow. Watching the waves drift by at my pace. A little like a day goes by in this place. Sitting somewhere south of a little bit warm where the sun keeps shining through the rain and storms. And what do I need but a hammock and a tree? A warm breeze, cold drinks, and cut off teas where the nights are always young. Nobody ever gets old. It might not quite be heaven, but it's sure good for the soul. Yeah, the surf's up, the sun is hot, it's a beautiful day, life is alright. Sit around watching the clouds roll by, just another day in pain. Set out on a road so long ago On a path to nowhere Wound up in Jupiter, Florida Come on in the middle of a life I know Where the days roll by without a care to See that trace of a smile on my face It's a place as I go The people I meet We're all the same here No reason to complain here Pour another cold beer Pull up a seat Where the nights are always young Nobody ever gets old it might not quite be heaven, but it's sure good for the soul. Yeah, the surface up, the sun is high, it's a beautiful day, life is alright. Sit around watching the clouds roll by, just another day in paradise. Man, it's just another day in paradise. Well, it's just another day in paradise. sing-along real quick. I think you guys are going to know the words of this one. I want to do this to get everybody in the right mood with all those good vibes and that good energy to send y'all out of here with. And I do not want you to drink and drive and get in trouble, get pulled over, get in a wreck or hurt anybody. So if you've had a little too much to drink today, please at least let Laura know so she can help get you a ride home. They have this thing called Uber these days. It's pretty cheap. It's really easy. I don't want people dying at my show. I'm trying to grow my audience, not kill them. So y'all please sing along with me, put some good vibes in the air. Woke up this morning, smile with the rising sun. On my doorstep, I sing a sweet song, a melody pure and true. Sing it, this is my message to you. So don't worry about a thing Cause you know that every little thing Gonna be alright, I can't hear you Say so don't worry about a thing Cause you know that every little thing Is gonna be alright Cause it's a paradise, paradise Just another day in paradise It's paradise Jupiter, Florida is paradise. Thank you guys so much, my Nash. I will see you hopefully next time around. Take care of each other and love each other. Cool. Welcome to the new decade. Is it that out of focus? Wendy, get in there. <laughs>
Did that light bother you? Yeah. 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 Y